Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to detail your engine in 15 minutes. We're going to use simple green to clean it up and after that we're going to use this product made by Gunk which is called Engine Protector Shine and of course it's going to give it the shine. This engine is just dusty, it's not covered with grease. I made another video on how to degrease your engine. That's for engines that are greasy and they have a lot of stuff built up. This truck is fairly new, so the engine is just dusty, plus it's a personal vehicle, so we take care of it really well. And I just want to get rid of this dust, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera up close so you can see how dusty it is, and that way you'll be able to see how it's going to look after I'm done with it, and you can decide if this is something you want to do to your vehicle or not. So, let's get started. So here are the items that I'm going to use up close. Simple green, like I said, to clean it up. And the engine protector shine to make it look brand new. So here's the engine up close. And as you can tell, it's dusty. But because nothing is leaking, there's no build up. I just want to make it look nice and new. That's the whole purpose of this video. One of the things that I want to point out, if you're concerned about anything shorting out when you're rinsing your engine, what you can do is disconnect the negative battery cable when you do this. and one of the items that you can cover with a plastic bag is your alternator if you don't want anything to get on it that way nothing happens to it and it charges like it always has everything else the connector should be sealed every single connector should have a rubber seal because the engines are made in a way that if you run into a puddle of water and it gets everywhere under the hood ideally the water shouldn't get in there so unless you use extreme pressure like a pressure washer would over 3,000 psi uh, by using a garden hose, none should happen. I mean, obviously, nothing is 100% certain. So, is there a possibility of water getting into one of the connectors? The answer is yes, there is. However, if you do this and you let your vehicle sit under the sun, then everything will dry up. Then you can connect your battery cable back up, start it up. And if you cover your alternator, obviously with a bag, take the bag off so it doesn't melt, and should be good to go. So just a few words of advice. I'm going to go ahead and pull this vehicle out of here so I can start spraying everything, and I'll show you the whole process. So let's do it. So first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the negative battery cable. I'm not going to cover the alternator with a bag, but something you can do if you want. Next step, obviously, is to spray the cleaner. This is pretty mild. If it ends up getting on your paint, it's not going to discolor it like the degreaser I used on the other video, which I'm going to include a link. So now that I have sprayed everything, it's time to rinse it off with a garden hose.
what I'm going to do now while the engine dries, I'm going to go ahead and use my chamois to wipe down the exterior and just let it dry. If you have compressed air, you can do it that way, speed up the process. Now in my case, because I do have compressed air, I'm going to make this process faster. So here's how the engine looks after the water dried up. It's nice and clean. I haven't sprayed the shine yet. Just showing you how it looks when it's just clean. That way if you just want to do this and you don't want to add the shine, this is how your engine will look like. So I want to give you a look of both ways. That way you can make the best decision. So now I'm going to apply the engine shine. So there's no need to go crazy with the engine shine because in reality what's going to benefit the most is everything that's made out of plastic. The metal components benefit some but the plastic is what's really going to stand out. And try not to spray it on the belt that way it doesn't end up squealing and then you have to replace a belt. So let's apply it. Just a light coat. That's all it needs. So a very light coat, that's all I needed, and I have enough to do five, six engines at least easily. So I'm going to bring the camera close so you can see how it looks like now that it's applied. So everything looks brand new. So it's just like a brand new engine basically. So now I'm going to connect a negative battery cable and make sure it starts. Okay, so I'm going to start it. So as you can tell, the engine runs perfect. The wire didn't get into any of the connections. The engine looks and runs. So there you have it. That's how simple it is to detail your engine using a simple green to clean it up and the gunk engine protector shine to make it look brand new like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.